everybody. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, June 6th, 2016. Lots of sixes happening today. And that reminds me the lover's card in Tarot is number six. And we're in the sixth month, which is Gemini. And the lover's card always reminds me of Gemini. So I'll be announcing a special reading, special price reading for the month of June. I'll make a little separate video for you all. Um, today, we're going to do Monday through Friday, June 6th through the 10th. For Monday, Tuesday, the 6th and 7th, we have the moon is in Cancer. For Wednesday, Thursday, the 8th and 9th, the moon is in Leo. And for Friday, Friday the 10th of June, we have moon going into Virgo. Um, I'm pretty excited. I have a brand new tarot deck, the Wild Unknown Tarot. It has a lot of animals in this deck, uh, really beautiful drawings, really beautiful. I love, I saw the uh, Wild Unknown Oracle card deck and I thought it was such a beautiful deck, I thought I would try the tarot deck. Um, so, this has a real summer animal feel. Look at the snake skin on the back. So I've pre-shuffled and we will pick um, Monday, Tuesday. We'll pick a card for Wednesday and we'll pick a card for Thursday, Friday. Okay, so, oh, that one just fell out. I'll put that one to the side. Okay, so we're going for Monday, Tuesday, June 6th and 7th, Moon in Cancer. Okay, then we're going for Wednesday, the 8th of June, Hump Day. Wednesday, the 8th of June, Moon in Leo, Moon in Leo energy. Okay, those just flew out of my hand. Sorry about that. Moon in, okay, moon, moon in Leo, moon in Leo. Oh, then for Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Friday, the 9th and 10th, moon goes from Leo into Virgo. Thursday and Friday, the 9th and 10th of June. Happy summer, everybody in the Northern Hemisphere. How amazing. It seems like winter was just like a month ago or something. All right. We've got the Three of Cups, so we'll keep that one. I like that one. Look at the look at the birds. They're so beautiful. The Three of Cups is a beautiful sign of uh, emotional connections with friends and celebrations with friends and Three is a magic number. It's a number of two things coming together and making a third thing, like an alchemy. So I think that's a really beautiful card to get for the end of the week. Okay, awesome. We start out the week with the world card in the major arcana. This is number 21 and it's the end. You start with zero at the fool and you go on your journey until you get to 21 and you've achieved all the worldly knowledge, all the worldly goods, it's been all good. You've had adventures and travels and learned some lessons. So we start out the week with the world. Um, okay, this is in reverse. This is the High Priestess. This is for Wednesday when we have our beautiful Leo energy. So, Let's tune into these cards. Um, and please feel free to leave some comments down below about the deck and what you think. And I always like the challenge of working with a new deck and kind of relating to it. So the message for this week is like you've really kind of come to this impasse sort of where you feel 
feel like you're not being really challenged anymore. And I'm saying that because even though I decided to put the High Priestess card in the upright position, it did come out of the deck in reverse. And the High Priestess is all about um, esoteric knowledge and she's about having all the answers, intuitively knowing all the answers and maybe not acting on some of that knowledge, but she's always comfortable in the knowing. And I feel like, I feel like at the beginning of the week, um, and we just had graduations. So I feel like there's been a lot of completions of cycles and we're starting out the summertime and you know, it's like summertime and the living is easy. You've done all this work. Like the year has come to a completion already. So like half of the year is over and you've already completed one cycle. And instead of sort of feeling this week like the sense of satisfaction with the celebrations and everything, like you do have all the answers, you do feel really complete. Like you might not, you might not feel complete in a sense where you're not allowing yourself to feel completion because you, you need another challenge. You're not you know, you're not feeling challenged because you just completed a huge challenging thing, especially if you're a graduate. So be careful of putting challenges in your way or making things harder for yourself than you really need to. I feel like the message is to just relax and don't do anything. Like, don't create challenges for yourself. You know, I know some people do that as soon as they accomplish something, then they start something new because they can't stand to sit still or they make things harder on themselves because they need the challenge. Like they can't just bask in the acceptance of like the glory of what you've achieved. Okay, so I'm going to pull the fourth card that flew out of the deck the moon okay that's really interesting so the moon is warning us like it's it's the high priestess and the moon are that that same kind of energy where you don't you know with the moon it's like not seeing clear in the light of day you don't have all the answers so i feel like this is a warning it's just reiterating what I just said. Don't make it harder for yourself. Don't go into all of your fear-based stuff about the unknown. Well, I finished this project. I graduated. You know, I'm done with high school. Where will I go to college? I'm done with college. Will I get into graduate school? What if, what if, what if? The unknown, the unknown. I got to take some action. I've got to like screw it all up and make a challenge for myself. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. You need to take it easy. You've accomplished quite a lot. It's summertime. We're in Gemini. Have a summer romance. Have a fling. Go on vacation. Sleep in. Celebrate with your friends. You've arrived, you've achieved something. Take at least this week, take one week to just relax and enjoy yourself. I hope you have a really wonderful week. If you'd like a private reading, I will leave my email address down below along with a PayPal link. And if you'd like to schedule something, please email me at racincula at gmail.com. I charge $35, $65, and $95 for 30, 60, and 90 minute readings via phone, FaceTime, or Skype. So you can send a PayPal payment and then you can email me to schedule that. I'd love to see you and speak with you. Please leave your feedback in the comments below section. 
Thank you for liking and subscribing and watching my channel and sharing my videos with your friends. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Have a good week. Bye-bye.